Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Paul Brown. He's now a cruiserweight boxer. Um and he's now seven wins, um, one defeat. And um last time he fought was back in June against Jack Owen, and he did come unfortunately come up short. Uh, and yeah, and overall, um with that fight, how did you feel in there? To be fair, mate, it's um the wake up wasn't good. But, um, my scales throughout the whole of the camp, uh, I didn't realise were incorrect, and they were brand new scales as well. Um, the morning of the actual weigh in, so the day before the fight, I was, uh, it was saying I was two pounds lighter than what I was meant to be. So I was like, fantastic, you know, I've, I've made weight, great. Got to the actual weigh in, and it said I was five pounds heavier than what I was meant to be. Oh. So I had an hour, I had one hour to lose five pounds. So I put a t-shirt, I had t-shirt shorts on, I had a sweatsuit on, I had two more t-shirts and a jumper, and I'd done a ten-mile run in twenty-eight degrees just to lose the weight. Jeez! And I couldn't eat or drink anything until three o'clock the next day. So, yeah, it just that that done me, mate. You know, um, when we was in the changing room, one of my coaches actually said, "You don't look right." I said, oh, "I feel fine." You know, um, I didn't want to, obviously, I had a lot of people to come up and support us it's for a title as well, so I didn't want to let people down. Unfortunately, I just had nothing left in me. I threw a couple of shots, you know, I caught him a couple of times, rocked him. But I just, I didn't follow up, I had nothing left in me. Um, you know, I got dropped as well. I've only ever been dropped once before by Anthony Yard when I sparred him. Got back up, you know, we carried on the spar, got, got, got a call back to spar with him again. You know, so yeah, it was, the wake up was too much for me. Um, so I'm 33 now. It's time to go up the cruise away and uh, see how we get on up that way. Mm -hmm. And because, of course, before you said um, win, lose, or draw, you would retire after that one. And um, why have you decided to come out of retirement? That was my first loss in nine years through amateurs, unlicensed, and, and the pros. My first loss, um, you know, if if I won the title, then I would have happily retired, been with a family and, and said, you know, I've done it. I can't retire on a loss. Can mm -hmm. I, yeah, that can't happen. I can't retire on a loss. So, yeah, we're going to go to cruise away. I've been I've been in the gym, been uh, pumping some weights, bulking up a bit, um, start training camp. Hopefully, we sort of begin in the September for a date that we've got in mind for the 29th of November. So, we'll just see how we get on. Mm -hmm. So, do you think you'll you'll be better off at this weight, stronger at the weight as well? Yeah, I think so. I think so, mate. Yeah, I think I'll be a lot stronger. Um, I do hit hard, you know, but uh, I'm always, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big lad. I've got a big physique. It's uh, trying to cut the weight was never easy. I, I just can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I've, I've been in with the likes of Yardi, uh, Eubank, Frank Buglioni. I've been in with them all. And the only person to drop me was was uh, a yardie. So, yeah, I'm not worried at all, mate. Mm -hmm. But now you've gone up to cruise away, and um, I presume you would want to still be chasing that Southern Area title at cruise away. Potentially, potentially, mate. Yeah. So my goal, you know, my goal is now to get to ten fights and see how we get on. Um, I've got someone in mind for the for the first fight, and he's no he's no journeyman. You know, he's had 10 fights, won five, lost five. Good kid. You know, and I've spoken to my manager and my manager's happy to go with that fight as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we'll see how we get on. See how we get on. Let's, let's get this next one out of the way and then we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. So, is that the 29th of November at your call or can you not say just yet? Yeah, that's the 29th of November at your call, mate, yeah. Mm -hmm. And for anyone who's uh, good... Will that be one your first fight at Cruiserweight? <clears throat> It'd be my first fight cruise away, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you rematch Jack Owen if that came about or if Jack Owen comes up away, then yeah, I'll rematch him. You know, I, you know what, mate? It's uh I'm very humble. I'll take nothing away from Jack Owen. He performed on a night. He did, he performed on a night through some lovely body shots. You know, he's he deserves to get that title. It's a fair play to Jack. And I, I wish him all the best and I hope he uh he goes far in his career. Mm -hmm. Out of 10, how did you rate your performance that night? Four. Four out of 10. 
Mm-hmm. You know, it's um, like I said, I, 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 I felt good in my head. I felt good. I felt, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, you know, I know what's happened. I feel okay, um, but my performance showed that I, I got dropped with a with a with a, with a shot, which I've never been put on my put on my, my done before. I've been in the yard. Um, so yeah, just I had nothing in me. I threw a couple of shots, and I just I was tired. I had no energy, you know. It's uh, trying, like I said to you earlier, trying to get that weight down anymore. I just can't do it anymore. And how upset were you taking that defeat? Very upset because I've worked hard to be in that position. You know, it's uh, it's still an achievement to fight for the Southern Area title. There's not many people around in my area that have done that. You know, I can say that I've been there and done that. You know, you're going to get people out there that say, "Oh, you you didn't really perform," and this that the other. But it's it's not them that's getting in there. It's, it's it's myself that's getting in there. Myself that's put myself through a twelve week camp. That's been away from from the family and the kids. Put myself through through what we do. You know, it's um. But yeah, we we'll get on the cruise away, and, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll go through them all. That's how I think. What can people expect from you uh, when you do make your comeback on the 29th? Hopefully knockouts. That's what I'm expecting, knockouts. You know, I am training hard, but um, yeah, I'm going to be fit, I'm going to be stronger. There's a few things I certainly need to work on because I didn't think I went my night, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. Sorry for the background, it's obviously like I said, I'm at work, so it's a bit noisy here. That's all so. right, mate. And um. So- but if the cruiserweight Southern Area title um come about, yeah. would that be your dream to win a Southern Area title? Yeah, I'd certainly like to. I'd certainly like to win the Southern Area. Um, but there's other avenues we can look at as well. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's get the next fight out of the way first. See how we get on with the with the difference in weight because it is a big a big step up going from twelve stone four up to thirteen stone five, thirteen stone six is a big weight difference. So let's see how we get on with our next opponent. Um, if it all goes well and I perform and he doesn't hurt me, then then we'll carry on. Yes, and how excited are you to be um, not only making your comeback but returning to the ring? Excited, mate, yeah. I've, to be honest with you, since having my last fight, I've been a bit down and depressed about everything. Um you know, I've only ever known boxing. I've been doing it since I was age of 16. Always like fighting, just enjoyed it. Um, I haven't been in the gym as much as what I should have been, but the last couple of weeks I've got back and I've, I've started enjoying it. I've sort of, sort of getting a love for it again. Because I've, I felt, which I've spoken to my coach about as well, I just sort of fell out of love for it. In fairness, I should have pulled out of that fight. But What, on the day? Yeah. Just yeah, to... I, I should have pulled out of the fight due to the, the weight cut and everything else. I should have pulled out, but unfortunately I didn't. And, you know, again, I'll get a loss. Well, you, you're a warrior, so, I mean, fair play for you to still fight in on that day. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, like I said, mate, it's a shame that we got the loss, but it is what it is, isn't it? We all make mistakes, but we'll, uh, I'll come back and put them mistakes right. Mm-hmm. 100% you will. And, um, do you think you'll get the stoppage on November 29th or if it comes, it comes? If it comes, it comes. So I have actually studied the opponent that, I'm, that I'm, I've asked my manager to fight. So he's a good kid and he's been in with some really, really good as well at Cruiserweight. Really good lads. Um, he's had a couple of fights recently where he's lost. So, yeah, I've studied him. I know what I've got to do. If, I, I won't go looking for it. Because, you know, I can end up getting knocked out myself. So, mm-hmm. but if it comes, it comes. Is Just it getting four... back in the ring and fighting again, you know, that's that's what I want to do. Is it four rounds or six rounds, do you know? I think I'm going to do four rounds and then I'll uh, I'll sit down with my team and then we'll probably step up. I've done 10 rounds, so I'll step it up to my, uh, I'll step it up after that. How long did you have, um like, break from the gym after that last fight? Uh, oof. eight weeks, a couple of months. You know, I'm I'm very much the type of person that I doubt myself. I 
and I shouldn't think like it. I know I shouldn't because it's me that's getting in there. It's me that's fighting. It's me that's going through all of the, the pain and being away from the family and that. But it's, I always care what people think. And I always thought that people think he's a loser and this, that, you know, like that. So I'm just, I'm slowly getting my head back in the game. Mm-hmm. But, um, so by not. You still there? You still there? Yeah, I'm still there, mate, yeah. Oh, sorry. I lost you for a minute. But, yeah, bro. Uh... So, what? So you doubted yourself, like, people were telling you, or did you just think those things? It's just, just, just in my, it's my own sort of, my own issues, mate. It's just, just, no one said anything bad to us, but it's just, oh, like I said, mate, I've always cared what people think about us, and I shouldn't be like that. I've always, always doubted myself. You know, and I'll be honest with you, I could never box. I was always one of them fighters when the amateurs, I just have a, like, having a tear up. There's another bloke stepping in my way, you know, just going to have a tear up with him. It's only when I got to be unlicensed and my previous coach he taught me how to box. You mm-hmm. know, and it's, I still make mistakes. Now I've been in the game not since earlier, since I was sort of 15, 16 years of age. I've been, been around for a long time. I still mistakes make mistakes now, but you know, like I said, mate, we'll 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 get them mistakes put right and uh, see how we get on. Mm-hmm. Has that fight made you stronger as a person and as a fighter? Yeah, definitely. I want to work even harder now. You know, mm-hmm. I want to come back with a bang. I want I want people to sort start talking again. I oh, pull runs back. He's just just had a knockout win against so and so, a good opponent. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure everyone will be saying he's back, and I bet people will be back putting your name in the the uh, the scene with the the cruiserweights where you want to be. And I'm sure you'll get that Southern Area title. Fingers crossed, mate. That's what I'm hoping for. You know, I have a lot of hard work and dedication, but yeah, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Hmm. Um. Before I let you go, I've got a couple of fight um fight predictions that um if if you don't mind me asking. Yeah. Um Canelo or um Charlo? Canelo. Knockout. Points. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Points. Mate. What about um oh, I forgot Joyce v Zhang, the rematch. Zhang. I don't rate Joyce. Really, really yeah. don't rate Joyce at all. I think it's going to be the same outcome as last time. I mean, eventually, no offence to Joyce, but he's going to get knocked out eventually. He eventually will do, mate. Yeah, he will do. The shame he's is, too re- reliant on good. his chin. Yeah, he is. He's he's a difficult fighter. Very, very difficult fighter. And, and like I said, I don't rate him at all. He's done well to how far he's come. it would be interesting to see what happens. Mm-hmm. I reckon Zhang uh, round six, same sort of, yeah, same round really. Yeah. yeah Possibly definitely. earlier. You just never know. Um, Usyk or Daniel Dubois? Do you think Dubois stands a chance? No, I, I don't, mate. No, he's. Um, I think Usyk wins that fight all day long. I can't see anyone other than Tyson Fury beating Usyk. Even difficult because I think that'd be a really, really good fight, you said, uh, if you're. Mm-hmm. But I reckon Wilder could beat Usyk as well. I don't think so. Wilder's too, he's just too wild, isn't he? So when Wilder fights Joshua, I think Wilder will beat Joshua. You know, I think he'll knock out Joshua. Mm-hmm. But I can't see anyone beating Usyk other than Tyson Fury. And when Wilder and AJ do fight, do you think Wilder, well, of course, it'll probably be knockout because he never wins on points, but, I mean, knockout early, mid or late? I reckon middle middle rounds, I reckon Wilder will win by knockout. So I sort of seven out of nine? Five or six, possibly. You know, the best fight I've seen of Joshua is when he boxed uh, Klitschko. Yeah. You know, it, it, that was a fantastic fight. Now he's he's too robotic. Um, he just seems seems too stiff. 
that hasn't loosened up. But I don't rate him at all, Joshua anymore. I think he's gone downhill, mate, from it from, from his loss from uh, Riaz and uh, and and Yusik. Yeah, I agree, mate. I yeah, reckon. Be interesting, be interesting to see, though. Yeah, I reckon Wold uh, knocks Joshua out in round ten, maybe a bit earlier. Ah, fair enough. We'll have a bet on that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. Um, and yes, before I let you go, as always, you want to thank manager, trainers, just anyone in general. Yeah, I'd thank my uh, my coach Sammy all the way. It's just uh, you know, I'm not a, 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 an easy person to train. It's difficult at times, uh, but he's stuck by us. And my manager, uh, Steve Goodwin, Kevin Goodwin as well. Uh, for, you know, they've they've done right by us. You know, they've always checked in and, and seen how I am. And yeah, they're good. They're a good team. So anyone that's sort of looking for a for a decent, half decent management team when they're going to become a pro, go to Goodwin Boxing. Mm-hmm. And uh, good luck with the fight, mate. And you've got this. Nice one. Thank you, mate. Cheers for your Take time, Paul. Bye, mate. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Bye.